Game started. Oh, Goliath. Frequent opponent. Let's see. That's time for a d4 opening, it looks like. Uh, d4, knight c6. That's right. He plays the uh, Nemzovich defense. So let's try d5. It's sort of falling, falling into his plans here. Build up a big center and then see if he can undermine it. Oh, he plays quietly with um, d6. Okay. I'm going to prepare knight to f6. He's attacking my e pawn. And he's undermining the d pawn. Yeah, very, very logical play. So I think uh, if I take, he takes back. Maybe he takes back with the bishop. If he takes back with the pawn, it's kind of a weakness over here on the king side. Takes back with the bishop. It's probably okay. <clears throat> probably okay for uh, black. Yeah, but I get my pieces out, and we'll get a game. Oh, I was expecting him to take the knight right away. Let's castle. I don't want to take until my queen is defended by a rook. So, see, I take the knight, he takes with a pawn. Uh, I would have had the choice of whether to take or not anyway. Okay, I could um, threaten this knight here and threaten, threaten to win a pawn. Knight takes, pawn takes, bishop takes. See if he wants to do anything about that. Yeah, he retreats and attacks my bishop. I thought this bishop would still be okay here on g3. Now I want to try and get in the push um, e4 to e5 if I can and try and bust up his center center formation a little bit. He can just go after the bishop, yeah. Server announcement. I did not really take that into account. See, I can't really do anything about it now either, so I'm going to leave it there. <clears throat> e4 now, I mean e5. If I play e5 now, he can just play d5. I play knight d5 first here. His bishop has gone away, I mean his knight, his knight has gone away from f3, so he's no longer protecting d5. And uh, he has a bishop pair, but I can grab this bishop. And also it's not the best bishop in the world anyway. But maybe I just want to play for more space. Play um, c4. See, this pawn is not yet under attack. The e-pawn, it looks a bit loose there. Anyway, so he's sort of preparing to take the e-pawn or develop some pressure on it. I want to bring a rook to the center, so rook to d1. Okay, he's just going to force my knight away. Oh, he saved his bishop first, and then he pushed my knight away. That was his plan. Okay, my knight could go to f4 here. That might be interesting. Hitting his bishop and his knight. And if he trades, um, you know, I've already got a doubled pawn, so it doesn't, doesn't make my pawn structure any worse. And it's probably an improvement in my pawn structure to bring this uh, g pawn one step closer to the center. Um, I don't know. This this does feel a bit drafty over here on the H file, so maybe <laughs> maybe he can find a way to exploit that. Maybe that wasn't entirely great. I can push on with F5 though. Shut down this uh, light squared bishop. I could also play knight to G5. And where is his bishop going? Here, here, there, none of those places look well. I could just go back. Hmm. <clears throat> After knight to g5, and he moves the bishop. He can. He can also play h6 and just kick my knight away. Yeah, that's 
put a rook, <clears throat> rook to uh, d1. I'm looking at this uh, d pawn. I wanted to play queen to. Um, oh, I forgot my f pawn was hanging. That was silly. That was silly. Okay, this is this is good for. Um, uh, this is good for black. Let's um, <clears throat> let's try and shut down one diagonal here. Okay, knight to h4 to go for f5. So I had this idea of playing. Uh, yeah, let's um, <clears throat> let's get my rooks onto the h file. Maybe I can arrange a knight to g5 at some point. Queen uh, d. Queen d2 would support knight g5. Yeah, if, his, if he was a little better developed, I'd be in big trouble here, but he's got his pieces still back on the <clears throat> on the first rank, a lot of them. So. so maybe I'm okay here. Maybe I'm not completely just down a pawn, although that's kind of what it feels like here. Yeah, so H. So if I double my rooks, and then I can play knight to g5, and he can't really take with the pawn because of uh, the mate threat on the back rank. So, say, for example, rook h1, queen d2, knight to g5. Ah. So, oh, that gives us king an outlet, huh? Still, seems like a good plan to, to kind of double up on these guys. Maybe there's some other way to get pressure there. Okay, his queen and bishop are coordinating on this diagonal. That that b pawn, I didn't want to have to be defending it forever. Maybe, actually, let's see. If I open this up, his his uh, bishop is going to get active there, isn't it? Pawn here, hitting the queen is maybe interesting. His pawn might fall in the long run, <clears throat> but his queen can't immediately go anywhere to attack it, or can it? Queen could come here. Queen could have gone to f5. Oh, but I have bishop to uh, d3. So, okay, so let's take a look at this. Now, if his bishop takes this pawn anyway, I've, I've got the um, h pawn in my sights. Okay. I think I'll take back with the pawn. There's a problem with this. He can now get a rook on the uh, d file. But I can have queen to e3. And I'm thinking of just giving up the exchange over here. Maybe I've got a good enough attack. The queen here and a knight coming in. Hmm, don't know. We'll see. Yeah, he goes after the knight. Not a bad choice. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, start this action. Check. Oh, I thought he had to respond to this threat. Is there a threat there? Rook here, check. Bishop takes. Queen here. Queen comes back to defend. I could just trade queens and be. Uh, what's the material? I guess he got a pawn. And he picked up the center pawn. He gave gave away his h pawn and picked up the center pawn. Let's see. So if I uh, move my rook away. I guess he can just take the queen. 
If I move the queen away, he takes the rook. Hmm. Yeah, this is looking tricky here. I could put the bishop in front of the uh, queen. I can just take it. I can just take that. Okay, another pawn down end game. <laughs> looks like that's what I'm in for. Uh, let's uh, put the rook on what looks like a good square. Now oh, he's going to win another pawn. I should have traded queens myself. Very imprecise play here. My only hope of winning this end game is if uh, if we get into somehow. A drawish uh, queen and pawn. Bishop, I mean bishop in game. There's opposite colored bishops here. Yeah, his rooks are, are good. check <clears throat> yeah unfortunately let's see I think I should block with the bishop rather than let my king get chased around I want to get my rook to b1 that's my idea go after this pawn give up my a pawn I don't see how I can defend it anyway oh I could play c Five, couldn't I? C five would defend it, but then his bishop comes here. Let's check. Yeah, let's just go for the B pawn. Okay, I'm getting away from that uh, bishop check here. And now this is <clears throat> desperation. <laughs> I'm hitting his rook and I'm hitting a pawn, but he takes my rook, I take. And then uh, he can just push the pawn forward, I suppose. And I can't even play rook to, uh, can't even play rook to a1 to hit that pawn. That's that's annoying. These pawns are on light squares. Maybe the bishop can hit them. Hmm. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> hey, rook. He can bring his rook up to um, this file and attack this pawn. Or are we going to play that? Pinning. Always these pinning ideas. Yeah. This that pawn was hard to defend, but he can win my pawn. Just keep trading and uh, hope for the best. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see what he comes up with here. He uh, probably should just go after this pawn, but um, Check. there are cases where I can hold this kind of position. <clears throat> Don't know if this is one of them. Ah, he defended his um, f-pawn, and now he stopped me from uh, advancing this pawn as well. 
Let's see. So let's hit his rook. And then um, I still can't play rook a1. I keep wanting to play rook a1, and I just can never play it. I should move my rook up to the third rank here. Yeah, he's piling up on that guy. So I can't really um, defend that. Let's see, I can attack the bishop. I mean, I could have defended it, but it's, it leaves my rook in such a passive position that I don't think it would have been a position I could hold. Ah, he just defends his bishop. Hmm. Okay, what was my idea? Let me get this guy on a good diagonal. Uh, well, first, let's get this uh, rook on a better square. So I can go over to... Um, Check. <clears throat> I can go over to uh, a2 now, at least, to stop this pawn. Mm -hmm. Check. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> okay, I'm going to resign here. <laughs> All right, good game, Goliath. White resigns.